Hola, hola, South Africans, and welcome to yet another episode of our weekly Top 10s. Since today we'll be looking at South Africa's coolest married couples, and take note, this isn't based on their riches. Nah, man, simply coolest, and in no particular order. Feels like I wasted enough time? Let's jump into it. Coming in at number 10, Mo and Momé. Well, if it isn't, our very own version of Kanye and Kim. All reality things considered, the couple has become Zanzi's faves due to their reality TV show on Vuzu, which showcases how they live their hectic lives and having a child while navigating the industry. Well, I wish there was more talent to see in that show, but hey, I'm barely one to judge. Coming in at number 9 is Jay Something and Cordelia. Well, we may not know much about Miss Something, but we know that they first met when he was hopping out of a taxi in Melville, and Something started cooking since then. Although she's never in the limelight, Miss Something captured Mr. Something's heart, and they are happily married, and Something is always cooking in their household. <laughs> Coming in at number 8, Mpo and Yeye Le Tsolonyane. This combo communicates. Imagine a whole soccer player and a sports presenter. All things sporty in that household. Probably their dog's name. Yeye has been in a relationship with the sports presenter Mpo for several years now. And earlier this year, the couple held their traditional wedding. Coming in at number 7 is Mr. and Mrs. Nafukwa. Talking, of course, about Ricky Rick and Bianca. Now, Ricky is not one to always show his wife to the public, but sometimes he does show her off. And Yebo, she's one of the most beautiful women we've ever seen. She's one of a kind in his own terms, as he wrote most of his songs about her and his life as well as family. Coming in at number 6 is Bunte and Pretty Ugly. The interesting part is how their union began. Apparently, Pretty Ugly first saw Bunte on Jiga Majiga while he was chilling with his granny, and he was mind blown. Fast forward, they bumped into each other again, blah blah blah. But the real magic was on Mix It. Wow, Mix It! When Miguel shell out for herself because Mjita was dragging. Now look at them. Wow, what a telenovela, man. Coming in at number 5, The Virgin and Jones, Minnie and Quentin. What stands out about this couple is their wedding, guys. The wedding took social media and TV by storm, as firstly, Minnie Lamine started to tell us that she had gotten engaged, and then boom, we have a reality series on their wedding, and everyone had a chance to see how Quentin looks like, and they really are a beautiful couple, and it could possibly be her first. What a jackpot. The first man to open the pot before Jack. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Coming in at number 4, the voice to the voiceless, Mr. and Mrs. Ngood. We talking of course about Questa and his wife Yolanda. Now what's more interesting about these two is the story of how they met, which contrary to any guy's beliefs, it's actually quite ironic. According to the clip that was shared, it was not love at first sight for these two. The wife explains that they met through a friend who asked the woman to do Questa a favor by being in his music video, and when they met, he wasn't her type regardless. Apparently he annoyed us so much in such a way that she didn't even laugh at his jokes. Let me leave it there. Now who's laughing, huh? Coming in at number 3 is the power couple of TV. Of course, I'm talking about Shauna and Connie Ferguson. They are the power couple of the production industry and it seems like they are also the fitness couple because lately, Mem Connie showed us her abs and dang, I'm in. La 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 to Rashona, even when we know he has guns for days. Coming in at number 2, Nandi and Zix Madida are the most adorable and private couples we know in the country. Throughout their dating years, we did not know that they were together, but all is well. They too have a child or children. These two are very private to the sense that they even had an intimate celebration for their love and union, and we were not even invited or witnesses to it. Jeez.
Coming in at number one, the couple crushed for many South Africans, Dineo and Solo. The actress and the singer couple celebrated their sixth year together in January 2018. Out of all South African couples in the limelight, the two most likely win the award for couple goals on Instagram. From their vacation or vacation to their excellent taste in fashion, there's nothing to not like about this couple. It is no wonder some consider them the most stylish couple in South Africa. And now I can say this with confidence. They are the most stylish husband and wife. That wraps it up for this week. Please do make sure to stay tuned for more content on our All Day TV network. Please do make sure to subscribe, like, and comment on all our social media platforms. We are at All Day TV. Until next time, for me and All Day Team, adios.